Hi guys, this is Sabi from the new WeTalk RX Q&A session. Before we start, I would like to give a shout out to all our watchers, the viewers, the subscribers, and of course the people who sent out the questions. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to smash up the likes. Huh? I'm so excited on this, so let's start with the first question. So excited. First question coming from IZK. Do you like IX New Awake Kit? Well, ICK, I do like the IX Awake Kit. And that's it. Let's move on. No, all jokes aside. Now, of course, it's a very nice uh, shirt. It reminds me of the 90s, where IX won a lot of trophies. They won the Champions League, they won the UEFA Cup. It, it brings out the feeling again. So, it has a nice color. I, I, I really like it, but what I especially like about the shirt is the red badge, the red logo, the red numbers, and the red name. It's kind of intimidating the opponents. What I dislike about the shirt, at least the outfit, are the shorts. They're, I don't think they're matching. They're, it's dark blue. The shirt is a bit light blue, sea blue. I don't think it's really matching, but hey, for the shirt, it's a good thing, so I will buy it definitely this season. Second question, coming from ICK again. Should Havenberg be in the starting 11 next season, now that he signed an extension till 2023? Well, ICK, the fact that he signed a contract doesn't mean he should be a starter by default. He played well last season, I think he did an excellent job. Taking into account his age, uh, he scored nice goals, so he did, he did well. But it all depends on the preseason. If he trains, if he trains well, if he's doing well, if he's fit, if he's game fit, I don't see a reason why he shouldn't start. He's 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 like a, a raw diamond, like uncut diamond. He he still needs time to pro to progress, but I think in the course of, of of upcoming season he will definitely get his spot and he will he will become. A player who will start in uh, will be in the starting lineup, but for now, I don't think he will be a starter. But well, hey, who knows? Who knows? But as far as I'm concerned, he will not start at the beginning of next season. Third question coming from IZK again. You're on the roll, IZK. How realistic is the rumor about the possible return of Suarez? How realistic is it? Well, to be honest, I don't think it's really realistic to uh, have him at Ajax. There are rumors, there are always rumors. There were rumors that he was going back to Ajax, he was going to the US, to the MLS. There were rumors even that he would be, they would go back to Uruguay to play to, uh, at his first club. There are so many rumors, but what I think is Barcelona is busy purchasing a new player. I think it's Latour Martinez from Inter. And Suarez is a stubborn guy. I think he wants to show the world that he's still better than Latour Martinez and that he will and that he deserves the, the yeah the first uh, the spot in the first eleven that he uh, want that he will get the strikers position within Barcelona. So he will stay at least one year again uh, with Barcelona. And afterwards we'll see if there's a small chance him coming to Ajax, I would definitely do my utmost to sign him because, yeah, he's one of the best strikers in the world. Next question is coming from Luke Tadros. Thank you uh, for the question. Who has, who, was your, who has been your favorite player to watch, for, to watch for Ajax since 2010? A very difficult question. We had so many great players playing for Ajax uh, since 2010. The one who I really liked is, and I don't know if many agree with me, is Lasse Schoenau. Lasse Schoenau is an incredible player. We bought him, at least he was for free, uh, coming from uh, Neck. He started as a right winger, then got benched. He then played himself again into the team as an attacking midfielder, then got benched. And then started his role as a defensive midfielder, 
and got benched. And still he had the willpower to come back to the first 11 and he did a terrific job. So I liked him for that, his willpower. He has excellent free kicks. We all have seen that, especially the one against Real Madrid. He is, he is very likable within a team. He makes a lot of fun within a team. And his interviews are always hilarious. So much enthusiasm uh, during the interviews. I really like that. So is he one of the greatest players within Ajax as of 2010? My answer will be no. Is he one of my favorite players? The favorite, the favorite player? Definitely yes. On to the next question. Coming from Luke Tallers again. Thank you for that. Keep them coming. What are your thoughts on a possible return of Klaas and Silasa? Like it or dislike it or other? It's actually a good question. I'm of the opinion that every Ajax player who performed well at Ajax, I'm happy to welcome them back. They performed well, so there's no reason why getting them back. With regards to Klaas, he performed well at uh, Ajax. It didn't go well at Everton, and uh, now he's, he's quite doing well at Werder Bremen. He has leadership skills, he has experience, he was a captain uh, within Ajax. He works so hard for a team, so of course I would welcome him back. He doesn't have the technical capability as Donny van der Beek, who I'm expecting uh, uh, to leave. Nevertheless, he will be a game for, uh, for Ajax. That's something that's for sure. Taking that into account, he will also be cheap, since Werder Bremen will probably get relegated, so they will get him for a dumb price. It's up to him whether he wants to come back or not. That's the main question. I know he likes Ajax, he's fond of Ajax, he's following Ajax, but, wh but whether he's ready to go back to Ajax, that will be up to him. With regards to Silasa, that's another topic. He performed well at Ajax. He's doing. He, he, he did very well. He went to Barcelona, became a bench player, which we knew he was going to be. Afterwards, he went to Valencia, where he became at first a first team player, a first team uh, a keeper, but then got benched again. So, is he game fit? I don't think so. Is he pricey? Definitely, Valencia paid a lot of money for him, over 25 million if I'm, if I'm correct. They want to see part of that money back and I don't see Overmars paying that amount to uh, Valencia to get him back. So is it realistic to have him back? I don't think so. Is he a keeper for Ajax? Definitely. But we got other solutions as well uh, for that uh, position. And we're moving on, of course. There are a lot of questions, so let's proceed. Next question comes from Ajax. Is it possible Tagliafico will be leaving us? If that happens, which players should replace him? That's a difficult question. I do think Tagliafico will leave us. There is an agreement, a general agreement with Ajax that he will be able to leave us at the end of season for a decent price. There are a lot of clubs interested in him. Uh, you hear names of Barcelona, Premier League clubs, Leicester City, Chelsea, etc. So, will he be leaving us? Yes. Who should be replacing him? I've got probably an unpopular opinion about this. My idea would be put Lisandro Martinez at left back. That was occasionally uh, the position which he was bought for. So why not try him out at that position? He has the same Argentinian mentality. He has that grit. He is like a pit bull. Why not try him at left back with Daily Blit next to him? And the central defensive position can be uh, can be filled in by one of the other players on the on the bench. We got. Ravenberg, we got, of course, Karl Eiting, who is a lovely player to watch. And there are several other players who could take over the, the position from uh, Martinez. I would say give it a try. And of course, we should buy another player at left back just to create some competition. 
because the players in uh, uh, within the youth, I don't think they're they're able or capable to fill out that position. I know Salah Dean is an impressive player, but I think he needs more time to uh, to adapt on that level of Ajax. So my idea would be Martinez at left back. Next question is again from Ajax. Rumors are Ajax are considering offering Huntelaar a new contract. Are you for or against this and why? If against, who should Ajax get in his place? This is a very living topic, uh, especially within the We Talk Ajax uh, community. My opinion is, let's give him a contract. Let's give him a one-year extension. He is very likable within the team. We can use his experience. We have a lot of youngsters within the team. Uh, we got uh, Broby, we got Traore, we got Hansa, Unifar, and we all know Huntelaar is a very clinical finisher. So he could teach them one or two on how to finish, for example. I'm sorry, Papimento, for, my, for this opinion, but this is how it is. And from his perspective, of course, I do understand he will get less playing time because other players will surpass him in the pecking order within uh, the strikers' positions. But nevertheless, if he would play at Herefain, for example, he would be playing more, getting probably less paid, and no prizes. While if you stay at Ajax, you get, of course, less paid in comparison with your previous contract. You get a bit less playing time. But hey, you will get at least one extra title on your name. Eh? You only get one title. If you stay next season, you will, it will be two. So, Klaasja, if you're watching, just sign the deal. Those were all the questions. I hope you enjoyed the Q&A session as much as I did. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Eh? And don't forget to leave out comments eh, if you agree or disagree. We can all have a discussion on this. Eh? Till next time.